The 6CJ El Cid, Southern Conference champion, the Citadel. Hey, the Southern Conference gained a lot of respect this season. They were the champions. The only loss came, as you mentioned earlier, to North Carolina this past weekend. That does not hurt them. First-year head coach Brent Thompson has them running the ball at a very high clip, over 358 yards rushing. This is the team that's learned how to win as the season went on. Remember, this was a team last year they beat South Carolina out of the SEC good team and they can run the football they've got a chance you have to stop the run if you want to stop the Bulldogs the number six seed there is the Citadel they will await the winner of Wofford and Charleston Southern and with that we welcome in the head coach of the Citadel he is Brent Thompson he was the offensive coordinator the past two years his first year as a head coach uh, you, you coach at a place like the Citadel give us a sense of what makes coaching there unique given certain given some of the demands that uh, the players have outside of football you know, we've got a lot of uh, our players are pulling a lot of different directions. We've got uh, guys that are taking 21 credit hours. We've got uh, our military service or our, our core responsibilities that we've got to uh, attend to. Uh, and then we've also got to be a, uh, uh, a college football player and a Division One football player. So there's a lot of things going on in our players' lives. And, uh, you know, we're excited to be uh, in this playoff field at this point. And uh, uh, we're excited to take on the matchup between uh, Wofford and uh, Charleston Southern. Last year, we saw the Citadel knock off South Carolina late in the season. You just come off the game against North Carolina. What do you gain from playing those FBS teams this late in the year? Well, you know, there's a lot of experience there. We've got a lot of great experience. And uh, I told the kids, you know, it didn't work out the way we wanted to as it did last year against South Carolina last night. But uh, we challenged ourselves, and we challenged ourselves against a, a top 25 uh, FBS program. Uh, I thought there was a lot of things that we took, can take away from them. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, cleaning up some of the mistakes that we made and getting ready for the, uh, for the second season, our playoff season here. How did your league, the SOCON, with four teams in the field, prepare you for this postseason? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. The question was, how did your league, the SOCON, that had four teams in the field, how did that league prepare you for this postseason? Well, I tell you what, is the, the Southern Conference, we talked about it at the beginning of the year. Uh, we were just happy to get three uh, conference teams in, and the fact that we got four teams, and I, and I think they're all deserving. Sanford's a very good football program. Uh, Wofford uh, is a tremendous defense. They do a great job uh, of being able to move the ball on offense. And then, uh, you know, to be able to get uh, Chattanooga is always a tough one. They're, they're a perennial playoff team. So uh, I think it's great to have uh, four of these Southern Conference teams in, and we're excited to be a part of them. Coach Thompson, we appreciate your time. And by the way, behind your left shoulder, you got a photo bomber. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Tell you what, the Citadel, it has been a great launch pad for many a great coaching careers. Ellis Johnson, Bobby Ross, Frank Beamer was there. Not all of these guys were there as head coaches. Ralph Fregent, that Al Davis, that Al Davis was an O-line coach in the mid-50s at the Citadel. You know, we have history with both teams. So I guess, you know, guys wanted to, you know, experience something new, but we're definitely excited to, to play our opponents. Uh, like all of the teammates and the coaches were saying, we, we're more, more excited about getting back home in Jackson Hagen Stadium, getting Charleston, uh, what we call lit again for this game. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna take care of North Carolina, get that out of our system from last night. Then uh, tomorrow we'll start to work on our game plan for both Wofford and Charleston Southern. So we'll go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday working on both those game plans. We'll give them uh, Thursday and Friday off and we'll be back at it Saturday uh, trying to see who the matchup's going to be and get some early stuff out of the way, get some of our fundamentals and our special teams out of the way on Sunday and try to work ahead.